Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in uh, Central California. I was going to do a, a midweek short, um, but I, I need a little more than a minute to, to do this, so I thought I'd just release a little quick midweek video. Um, and this is going to be to talk about the root cause of the ED switch failure. I believe it was the root, root cause. And there's a couple of... Uh, well, at least one guy out there in uh, YouTube land that uh, I think spotted the failure because he's had these these issues before. And now I've had these issues. And frankly, thinking back to the problems we've had, um, it could all point to this. What am I talking about? Uh, I'm talking about the ED switch. So, well, I'm, you've already seen that in the title, so you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think I found the problem. So when they RMA the switch, they send it, send you a new one. Um, you return the old one, they send you a new one. They send it empty. So these switches don't come with power supplies. They don't come with, uh, stacking modules. They don't come with fan modules. So you either have to supply those from a, a spare supply of spares, or just take them out of the old switch, put it in the new switch, which is what I did twice and um yeah when i plugged that switch in uh the return switch i, I wasn't going to take it to er again uh before i tested it when the new switch got here i tested it and it was doing the same thing the same darn thing um so uh what the heck so i just started swapping out modules one by one started swapping out the power supplies didn't nothing happen you know, two brand new power supplies, never been used, that I had from uh, my storeroom. They're doing the same thing. Um, I said, well, what else could it be? So I just swapped out this guy. That's the uh, stacking module. And the power problem went away. The PoE problem went away. So this guy right here is bad. Um, yeah, I mean, as soon as I took this out, I put a, put a brand new one in, no problem with the PoE. So the, the second RMA switch just went into my, my supply of spares to replace, you know, this one that I took out of a spare, well, to replace one that I took out of a spare. And this guy, I've actually got spares of these for some reason, so maybe there's a reason Extreme sold me spares of these, so... Uh, maybe I'll RMA this one. Yeah, maybe I won't. Has it got a serial number on it? Yes, it does. So, I'll probably do an RMA on it. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys root cause of that ED switch failure, I believe, is this guy. Um, I think it was probably what was causing the kernel panics, as one gentleman pointed out in the comments, that uh, he's had these things cause kernel panics before, so... And we've had problems with stacking before on that particular switch. So this was probably just a problem, you know, waiting to become worse. It's probably always been a problem. So anyway, there you have it. I wanted to give you guys a root cause of that uh, emergency room switch failure. So uh, God bless, guys. We'll catch you later.